It's back uh, Chile repair today. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Today we are replacing a uh, PCB board for RXYQ8. This unit is a uh, RXYQ8. Look at this unit. This is the model number of the unit. RXYQ8. This unit has defective PCB card. This one. We'll change it. Okay. This is the card that we remove. You see not see that one now. There is a defective uh, PCB card. This is the card that we remove. This card is here. This one. This is the new one. See. See the new one. Remove the body. See it's here. Uh, it's RXYQ8. This is the cartoon. Remove it here. So we will put the new one on this side, uh, the old one on this side. Uh, still okay, but uh, no, 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 it's not okay. This one has a uh, having defective uh, PCB, uh, showing malfunctions. The button is not, uh, it's not operating. That is the problem with this one. So, this is the new one now. This one uh, required programming once the uh, once the power will be restored in this place, we will test around this one and then uh, recommission. So, but for now, we will put this one back. It's here. Okay, this is the inside of the unit. So we try to connect this one. Try to check if this one is the right one. Yeah, this one is the right one. We try to check one by one. There's a cable on this side. Try to find what is it. So that we can see. It. I know this cable. There's two cables correct. One, two, three, four. Block supply. Okay, block jumper. Uh -huh. Okay, the cable in this side is not here. The supply cable of this one. Okay, this one. This is the one. Let's see it. So you are doing this one you need to do extra care because there is a, a voltage remain on this capacitor this capacitor this one this one this one this is one I can telling you right now that capacitor you need to do extra care try not to touch the terminal of this uh, PCB if new one is okay but the proper handling of this one do not touch the terminal all this uh back side the idea uh, the downside of this pcb do not touch it that is the proper way how you handle try if you can hold uh, use glove you use glove
so that it will not shock you if you are uh, not comfortable using uh, glove in both hands at least at least you use one see at least you use one glove in your hand so at least uh, it is protected you use these gloves hands that there is a glove to insert all this terminal try to avoid shock of this one because uh, we need to prevent ourselves so this is it look at this one this this black one where is it this one is for this side this one is here This red one is for this side. Then the other one is for this side. connected now so we will go up let's check one by one if they are properly connected then we'll put this one in this inside to this wire like Okay. Is that remaining now? This one is for this side. Okay, you see it. So let's check one by one before we proceed. Because if not, it will show alarm. This block is for the block terminal. It's very easy for this side because there is a tag already. Unless black, you will put white. So the next one is white. There is a name already that you, which one you will put. The next one is red. So uh, very easy. Just bear it in your mind to use glove only. So that can prevent it. So it's your own safety for your own safety. Use gloves. So it looks good. Everything is connected. The jumper wire is there. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. We are in the front end now. This front one we will check one by one so that they will uh, be connected in a uh, right terminals. Okay, let's start to this controller. So we are looking for okay this one that there is a blue is for this side okay that is the and this one doesn't have blue this is for this side okay this one now is for this side okay this big one now is for this side. Okay. 
Now for this one, this big one now is for this three pin terminal. This side. Okay. This one is for this one. Then wow. Okay. The one that there is red. Look at the one that there is red. This one is for this side. Now uh, bear it in your mind, the one that there is red, it means in the red red side. The one is white, everything white, see down doesn't have so it's white so this one now is the gray it's for the gray uh, this one is for the red it's red and this one is for the black This one is for the blue, it's in this side. Okay. There's another one. This one is the blue one. It's for this side. Then this one is the red one. So all these terminals, ter terminals, circuit connector must be in place in the right position because if not, it will create alarms or can damage your card. Be, uh, put it in your mind that this card is new one. We don't like to spoil this one or damage this one. So you need to remember what you are doing, double check, after you are already done, please double check one by one with the diagrams, we have diagram is in here, hopefully uh, you know how to read diagrams, because if not these diagrams uh, will help us to identify all these terminals, what is the, the terminals, terminal numbers. So all this one uh, is uh, in connections with this one. So everything good. This one now, uh, this red one now is for uh, F1. And the black one is F2. So for this one now uh, is a gray line one. Black is line two. Brown is line three. Neutral and this one. Ground. Uh, we will uh, test run this one but uh, for now we cannot test run because there is no power ok they are done already see I connected see F1 F2 communication cable this is the power cable line 1 line 2 line 3 and then the neutral and then ground but still for commissioning you need still you need to use a piece meter so that we are now we don't have doubts that our facing is a uh, correct uh, incorrect so we need to correct the facing before we start up this one everything is okay terminal will fix so all you need to do is just double check so if all the terminal connections are in in place in a proper uh, place thank you very much and uh, please subscribe into my channel this one uh, it's back chile repair this chile uh, this uh, unit is daikin brb4
RX QQ8 capacity is 8 horsepower so thank you and have a nice day